Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 7th of 2023. Well, it is titled the once and future stars of Andromeda. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Andromeda galaxy. Now we saw an older image of it yesterday uh, when we saw where Edwin Hubble had first identified variable stars. Now this is a much more recent image of the Andromeda galaxy. And if you remember yesterday's you're seeing a lot more detail here than was present in that early photographic plate. Now what we do see is that the Andromeda galaxy is a spiral galaxy much like our own Milky Way with distinct spiral arms swirling out from the center. And we can see the dark dark dust lanes as well as blue star clouds highlighting those spiral arms as and the pink glow of hydrogen gas when excited. Now all of those are signs of star formation. Now what we're seeing here are the current stars of Andromeda. Well, we say current, but in reality, Andromeda galaxy is two and a half million light years away. So we're seeing the stars as they were two and a half million years ago. For the most part, stars don't change in two and a half million years. So it's a pretty safe bet that Andromeda looks a lot like this today. However, we wouldn't know for sure for two and a half million years. And likely there are some stars that have become supernovae in that time. And that we still don't know about it because that light has yet to reach us. Now, what about the future stars? Well, I mentioned those dust lanes. If we look at those dust lanes in the infrared in the second image, we see the distinct colors there and you can kind of see how they line up with those very specific dust lanes if we go back and forth between the two images. Now the dust itself is much cooler than the other material around and therefore it emits longer wavelength light. So it emits primarily infrared light and that's what we're seeing in this second image. The yellowish glow is a false color image showing the location of the dust. And again, as we saw that matches up completely with the dark dust lanes that we see in visible light. So that darkness again is not an absence of material, but is the presence of more material. And this is what we mean by the future stars of Andromeda. Over the next few hundred million years, a lot of this dust and gas associated with it will begin to form new stars. So could we look at this a few hundred million years from now, we would see different stars and different clusters within Andromeda as a galaxy like this is a constantly changing place. Now the other big change that is coming is that Andromeda and the Milky Way are on a collision course, uh, meaning that in a few billion years, they will collide together and merge into a single larger galaxy. Now we can tell this based on the motions of these two galaxies and they will interact with each other in a collision that will take itself hundreds of millions of years and will heavily enhance the star formation in both of these two galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for October 7th of 2023. It was titled the once and future stars of Andromeda. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be in front of the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.